doctoral candidate who sought to prove justice system was racist against blacks stabbed to death by black male in Chicago and all I have to say about this is you get what you fucking deserve I personally hope this happens far more often than not these libtards these left wingers these alt leftists who like to troll in the comments section of various posts and threads on social media calling people cis, incel, racist, sexist, homophobe, transphobe, all of this noise in in an effort to show how virtuous they are, how SJW they are. But then when they go into these communities and they get fucked up like this, I celebrate it. So continue to pester conservatives or just concerned citizens seeing the influx of criminal violence that's spreading throughout the nation. Troll along, troll all you will. But I hope you suffer the consequences that this bitch suffered for trying to spread this bullshit, nonsensical identity politics bullshit that only enables the criminality that's going on in America. It's not stopping anything. Trying to make victims out of people who aren't victims at all is bullshit and it endangers other people's lives. And I just hope, and I truly hope this, more and more people realize that they need to segregate themselves from people like this not a segregation necessarily based on race or any said or any said identity but a segregation based on ideology cuz ideologically there are just certain so-called black people so-called white people and any other type of people that you just do not want in your community and anybody with the centrist mindset libtarded mindset a, a libertarian who leans left but holds some conservative views and don't want to be categorized as alt-right so they just call themselves libertarian all of these people need to be gatekept out of communities need to be barred and allow them to live amongst each other so they can suffer the fate that they deserve because this is the bullshit that you get this is what you deserve when you're trying to pull when you're trying to push this nonsense I mean we just had an entire streak of violence during Juneteenth this bullshit federal holiday that has fetishized slavery some people's biggest form of escapism entertainment is to delve into their personal victimhood with their phantom connection to slavery over people who wouldn't give two fucks about them because guess what those slaves were heavily religious people they didn't like homosexuality they weren't champions for things like feminism they were very strict and conservative you would be ostracized if you had a child out of wedlock in those type of communities so their phantom connection to people who preceded them is just a farce based on the simple fact that those people they claim to descend from wouldn't even like their ways of today so it's just all one big shit show that Hollywood that mainstream media that politicians and, and with their politics are all getting involved in and I just hope that all these people have to live amongst the people that they are so-called trying to save because guess what happens when that occurs if they're actually living amongst the people they're claiming to save this is what happens they get stabbed to death they get shot they get raped the only people I feel sorry for in all of this 
is the poor children that get raised by lip tarted parents who train them to hate themselves. The worst thing in, the, in this country has to be right now is being a white male heterosexual raised by liberal parents because they're training you to hate yourself from birth. They're training you to take the blame for past wrongs that was committed by people they had no connection to. And even when you say past wrongs, you almost have to say that loosely because guess what? Everybody was engaged in the commodity of owning humans. Because guess what? There were slaves that were owned by black people, not just in Africa, but in America as well. Owned by black people in America, in the South. Look it up, you fucktards out there who are ignorant about this. And guess what? Slavery is more prominent today than it was back then. But your liptard media, for those who listen to it, they ignore it. Because it involves sex trafficking, something that they support and promote with the sexualizing of youth that they do with this twerking culture with movies like Netflix cuties so it's all bullshit everything that they claim to stand for remember it's all bullshit so there's no reason to try to preface any of your statements or take these people serious in any argument just know that you are at war with these people because they are at war with you so fuck whatever they have to say. Get your peace of mind and make it your mission to separate yourself from these people. Because they will literally eat themselves, aka kill themselves. They will kill each other because you have one that has a savior, savior complex and then you have the other who is just a perpetual victim but also extremely violent and everybody that lives in any hood nationwide understands this because guess what when someone of the hood gets money the smart ones get out the dumb ones stay and eventually get killed or robbed as we've seen with several lottery winners who decided to stay around the so-called hood but yeah I feel nothing when I see stories like this because things aren't going to change unless we start seeing more and more bodies hit the floor over the dumbass shit that they've been perpetuating for decades now but this is why it's important to invest in alternative media and create your own media because media is the number one propagator of information and influence the Romans used it with the Colosseums to influence culture and society and politics and it's being used today to influence culture society and politics so that's why it's important to defund Hollywood and boycott the mainstream forever because it's the messages they put out there that enables dumbasses like this broad to think that she can be savior for people who don't want to be saved they want to be killed or kill people that's it everyone isn't meant to be slave, saved and you shouldn't try to make an effort to save everyone it's utter nonsense save people who want who want to be saved save people who have common sense and hell save people who are already trying to save themselves don't go digging in the barrels digging in the ditches trying to pull up people who've been handicapping themselves and others for generations within their own goddamn family they don't deserve saving at all but again this incident with this woman is not going to educate or learn anyone else you're still going to see a lot of these idiot ass white liberals wearing their BLM shirts and Juneteenth shirts thinking that's going to garner them some allies 
but let their dumb ass step in the wrong neighborhood. That shirt will get wetted with their own blood by the victims they're trying to help. Liberals are stupid. Liberals are retarded. They deserve the consequences that this woman got.